Hey everyone, in this lesson we are going to discuss the classification of cables according to the conductor uh, type. Okay, so you have to know that there are two main types of conductors used in cables. The first one is the aluminium or AL and second one is copper. Okay, see you. As you can see, this is a picture for the uh, copper and this one for the aluminium. You can see that the copper usually have this golden color and the aluminium have this uh, silver color. Okay, now we would like to understand the difference between these two conductors and when to use the copper conductors and when to use the aluminium conductors. Okay. According to the international annealed copper, uh, copper standard, although the aluminium only has 61% of the conductivity of copper, so the aluminium, this aluminium, have a conductivity of nearly 61% of the copper. So what does this mean? It means that the copper has higher conductivity than the aluminium. Okay, so that is the first advantage of copper. Copper has... A higher conductivity than aluminium which means for the same cross-sectional area the copper can carry more current than aluminium however you will find that for the same uh, cross-sectional area you will find that the aluminium the aluminium itself has 30 percent of the weight of copper so it means that the aluminium is lighter than copper Okay, so the advantage of aluminium over copper is that it has a light weight. Okay, which will lead to the end to have aluminium cheaper than uh, copper. So again, the advantage of copper is it can carry more current or has more conductivity than aluminium. However, aluminium is cheaper and has lower weight than copper. Now, the application of both of them, the aluminium, aluminium is used in the medium voltage network. Why? Because of the two reasons. First one, in the medium voltage, we have lower current, okay, low current, and underground cable cost is lower in case of the medium voltage, okay, not the low voltage network. However, if we have cables supplying current to uh, motors in the medium voltage they are working at for example 11 kilovolt then in this case we will use copper why because copper has higher conductivity which means lower voltage drop okay that's why cables are used copper cables are used to uh, provide current to loads in medium voltage or low voltage network okay why? Because it has higher conductivity or provides lower voltage drop, which means we will have the same, uh, nearly the same voltage at the terminals of the motor, which will provide the required torque. Okay. So low voltage cables are usually made from copper in the electrical distribution network. So aluminium usually used in the medium voltage network. And of course, high voltage network in transmission lines, overhead transmission lines, we use also aluminium. However, in uh, under, underground cables or uh, in the low voltage network, we use the copper. Okay. Now, you have to know that the voltage drop for aluminium cables is higher than copper. Why? Because aluminium has lower conductivity than copper or high resistivity or high resistance compared to copper that's why the voltage drop in case of aluminium is higher which is not a good thing okay now usually the voltage drop of cables is measured in millivolt per ampere uh, per meter okay and what does this mean it means this is the this value given it means the millivolt the millivolt voltage drop in millivolt bear each current bear meter of this cable 
okay so if we would like to find for example the total voltage drop uh, in a cable we simply multiply take this value and multiply it by the rated current or the current absorbed by the load and multiply it by the length okay now also you'll find that the aluminium cables appear cheaper or they are cheaper than uh, copper in price however there is something which is really really important is that there are extra cost and effort in installing less uh, pliable aluminium cables and what does a pliable mean means flexible so we have aluminium is not flexible such as copper okay so it will need more cost and effort to install it so that is one of the disadvantages of using aluminium cables also we'll find that copper are used in low voltage network however in situations where we have overhead transmission lines we use aluminium why because in overhead transmission lines we need uh, conductors which have a small weight or low weight okay and we said before that the aluminium has lower weight than copper which means we will have um, transmission lines or overhead uh, towers we don't need a strong overhead towers in case of aluminium in copper it will have higher weight which will lead to we need more uh, expensive towers now another thing is that aluminium cable in order to provide the same current such as copper same current such as copper we need large cross-sectional area to match the conductivity of the same copper okay so for example if we need um, 50 ampere for example we will need aluminium copper have a very high cross-sectional area than the same conductor used for this 50 ampere in copper okay so aluminium usually needs a 56 percent larger cross-sectional area to achieve the same conductivity such as the copper cable okay so we need large cross-sectional area aluminium cables in order to give the same current also the installation of aluminium cables are difficult due to their flexibility and size last thing is that if we take this cable the aluminium cable and run underground the problem is that why don't we use this the aluminium inside underground cables in case of the low voltage network because of two reasons first one is that the size and the number of conduits required in case of the aluminium will increase why because the aluminium cable have a high cross-sectional area and if we take this one and put it above the ground also we will need large cable tray okay in order to accommodate larger and additional aluminium cables okay that's why in the low voltage network we use the copper cable now here is a graph showing the voltage drop millivolt per ampere meter and the cost of the cable okay you can see here copper voltage drop this one copper voltage drop the aluminium voltage drop this one and price of aluminium price of uh, copper okay now as you can see here in this region for example we have in this region the low voltage network in this area we have the medium voltage network okay a very high current in medium voltage uh, because it supplies many many loads or many many transformers so anyway as you can see in the lower cross-sectional area which is suitable for the low voltage network you can see that here this and this representing the cost cost of copper cost of aluminium okay you can see that the cost is very very close to each other okay uh, but however you will find that voltage drop of aluminium is very high 0.7 compared to copper which is nearly 0.45 you can see very large difference in voltage drop that's why very small difference in price here however very large difference in voltage drop that's why in the low voltage network we use the uh, as you can see the cost 
since the cost is close to each other, we use the copper cables. Copper cables in case of the low volt network. Okay. However, if you increase the cable size, matching the uh, medium voltage, for example, in this case, you will find that here, this is the price. Okay. Price of copper, price of aluminum. You will find that for the same cross-sectional area here, 630 millimeter square, very high cross-sectional area, you will find the big difference, very large gap between the two conductors. You will find that the copper nearly $16,000, however, the uh, aluminum $4,000, which is a, a four times the difference between them. Very large, very large gap in difference. However, you will find that difference in voltage drop very small, which means that the usage of uh, aluminum here in this case is more efficient than using the copper. Okay. Now, last thing is that you will find here a table showing uh, the conductivity, the resistivity or the resistance, capacitance and current rating, short circuit rating of cables. Okay, you will find this inside the catalog, but for example, I would just would like to explain each of these terms. Okay, so we'll find here the cross-sectional area of the cable, 4, 6, 10, until 630 millimeter square. This is the cross-sectional area of the cable. Now, here you will find aluminum, copper, aluminum, copper. Now, what is the difference between these two uh, columns? The first one representing the DC resistance. If we are using the aluminum cable or copper cable uh, in a DC network. And this is in the case of AC network at these temperatures. Okay. So if we are using the aluminum, for example, in DC network, it will have a ohm per kilometer. How many ohms? The resistance, the value of resistance for each kilometer of this conductor. 7.41 ohms per each kilometer okay you will find that here for example for the cover the resistance 4.61 lower resistance okay why because the conductivity of the cover is very high compared to aluminium so the resistance here is very low compared to aluminium you as you remember resistance is equal to rho l over area and rho is the resistivity or 1 over conductivity. So as the conductivity increases, such as in copper, the resistance becomes lower. Okay, basics of electricity. So as you can see, lower uh, resistance uh, in case of copper, of course, in DC and the AC. Okay, 5.9, 9.49, and so on. As you can see, more cross-sectional area as cross-sectional area increase, the value of the resistance starts to decay, as you can see here, from 7.4 to 0.04 at 630 millimeter square, and same for others. Okay, now why? Because more cross sectional area as area increases, the resistance starts to decay. Okay, which is the same case here. Okay, this is the first two columns. What does they mean? And as you can see here, the reactance or the X of the cable at 50 hertz. Okay, gives you also in ohms, how many ohm, the uh, reactance of the cable. Here you can see the capacitance also of the cable, how, may, how many uh, microfarads for each kilometer of each of these cables. Now, let's see this one, the current rating. Okay, how much current does this cable can withstand? You can see for aluminium and for copper in three different cases. One, when we are talking about if we take this conductor and bury it in the ground, if we take this conductor and put it inside a duct, and take this conductor and put it in air. Okay, you can see different current ratings in each case. Same from for aluminium here, the same case for copper, ground, duct, air. Now, as you can see, the more cross-sectional area we have, the more current our uh, conductor will take. You can see at 4 millimeter square, 
we have 34 ampere however at 630 millimeter square we have 537 ampere so the higher cross-sectional area of our conductor the more current it will take why because the resistance is lower okay now i would like to mention that you can see here for example this one 240 millimeter square you can see that the at the ground or air for example air okay you can see it take 402 amperes okay in case of aluminium at this size of conduct cross-sectional area now if we look at copper you will find it is for the same cross-sectional area it takes more current 510 amperes okay why because the conductivity of the copper is higher than the conductivity of aluminium last uh, column here is for short circuit current rating for one second duration now what does this mean how much kilo ampere how much kilo ampere can this cable can this cable with this cross-sectional area with a stand for one second okay so as you can see the cable four millimeter square can with a stand of 0 0.376 kilo ampere However, if this cross-section area increased to 630, it can withstand 59 kilo ampere for one second. Okay. So that is the meaning. If you see all of this value, I hope you now understand what does all of this value mean. And you can now read them inside catalogs. Okay. So as you can see, the main uh, difference here is that you can see that the copper have higher conductivity than aluminium it takes more current for the same cross-sectional area and as you can see the copper resistance is lower than aluminium because it has higher conductivity you can also find that as the cross-sectional area increase the lower resistance the higher current we the higher current the cable can carry and the higher uh, short circuit current it can withstand okay